viewers, welcome to our Freeze Concept TV. Headline, after IPOB members attacked people in the southeast, see what Peter Obi said that triggered backlash against him. The candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 presidential election, Mr. Peter Obi, has come under fire for reacting to the death of Prophet Michael Olowore and, and not the violence in the state and the entire southeast perpetrated by members of the new people of Biafra, IPOP. Peter Obi had mourned the passing of the Prophet Michael Olowore, saying, I have just received the news of the death of Prophet Michael Olowore, a renowned evangelist and founder of Christ Apostolic Church, Okiagbara. He was a very res respected minister of the Gospel of Christ Apostolic Church. He contributed greatly to missionary and social social growth. His many um, decades of evangelism were very impactful in Oyo State and beyond. I come straight with his immediate family and, and Christ Apostolic Church over his dismiss. May God grant him eternal rest and comfort all who mourn him. Reacting, some Nigerians called him out for, for not sympathizing with the victims on, on, of the infamous seat at home order by their pope. Yesterday, a video showing the moment suspend members of IPOP attack a primary school in the southeast part of the country is trending. In the video, the IPOP member who stormed the school could be seen flogging the pupils and teachers. They also questioned the students why they flood the seats at home order in the region. Reacting, someone said, it is sad that no police or soldier engaged them in a gun duel during after their operation. In the same vein, masked gunmen on Tuesday attacked some residents and traders in Ibo State, Southeast Nigeria. In a video clip which has now gone viral, the attackers, numbering about nine, were seen shooting and chasing traders at the market ECAK, a community in Abakeleke, the state capital. The gunmen were said to be enforcing the controversial one week at home declared by the fiction of the outlawed level of beer fry pub. The hoodlums dressed in red attire and patrolling in the light brown uh, Sienna vehicle were also seen sitting some setting some tricycle at blaze and destroying goods in the market. The candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 presidential election, Mr. Peter Obi, has come under fire for reacting to the death of Prophet Michael Olowore and, and not the violence in the state and the entire southeast perpetrated by members of the new people of Biafra, IPOP. Peter Obi had mourned the passing of the Prophet Michael Olowore, saying, I have just received the news of the death of Prophet Michael Olowore, a renowned evangelist and founder of Christ Apostolic Church, Okiagbara. He was a very res respected minister of the Gospel of Christ Apostolic Church. He contributed greatly to missionary and social social growth. His many um, decades of evangelism were very impactful in Oyo State and beyond. I come straight with his immediate family and, and Christ Apostolic Church over his dismiss. May God grant him eternal rest and comfort all who mourn him. Reacting, some Nigerians called him out for, for not sympathizing with the victims on, on, of the infamous seat at home order by their poor. Yesterday, a video showing the moment suspend members of IPOP attack a primary school in the southeast part of the country is trending. In the video, the IPOP member who stormed the school could be seen flogging the pupils and teachers. They also questioned the students why they flood the seat at home order in the region. Reacting, someone said, it is sad that no police or soldier engaged them in a gun duel during after their operation. In the same vein, masked gunmen on Tuesday attacked some residents and traders in Ibo State, Southeast Nigeria. In a video clip which has now gone viral, the attackers, numbering about nine, were seen shooting and chasing traders at the market ECAK, a community in Abakeleke, the state capital. The gunmen were said to be enforcing the controversial one week at home declared by the fiction of the outlawed level of beer fry pub. The hoodlums dressed in red attire and patrolling in the light brown uh, Sienna vehicle were also seen sitting some sitting some tricycle at blaze and destroying goods in the market. All right, viewers, you have listened to today's news. Now, so people are really lashing um backlashing um mr peter obi why because there is this particular man that died this um cac pastor that died so he he, he wrote a comment to sympathize with the family of the man that already passed away and um now People in the south south is are actually lash backlashing him. Why? Because he he did not say anything when um some people were being attacked. You know during you know um the sit at home order 
they said they made an announcement that they have cancelled it so now some set of students went to school on monday while you know before on monday nobody does anything you don't go to work you don't go to school you stay at home because of Muslim Dekana is being held in DSS custody. So now, since the new government has entered, so people people are like, okay, since we now have new people and all that, there is no need obeying any sit at home. We'll take um, serious measures to make sure that this sit at home is abolished. You understand? Now, so people went to work, people went to market and all that. When there were some people were, were when there were some students were still in school, some men came into the school, started flogging the pupils and flogging the teachers for 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 saying that they violated the law of the seat at home. Now thinking that was enough, that thinking that was enough, some people in the market were seen being chased by some men wearing white, wearing red, a red attire, with guns and chasing people out of the market, destroying properties, destroying goods, setting vehicles. And motorcycles on fire saying who asked them to come out and they said to the crowd was that there was no security personnel around now I don't understand this now they are blaming my um, blaming Peter B for not saying anything when they made mention of what happened in the southeast what do you want the young man to say it is the president that would say because him now trying to say something might make him look as if um I mean might, might make him look, look as if he's trying to he's trying to become the boss. So now in that sense what they are doing is also paining him, which I know is paining him. He cannot outdo the president. There's a president that needs to come out and make people that say, ah, do though he can still do a video or twitter and, and talk say something about it but i feel the president needs to say something about it let's just read some comments somebody here say very okay somebody here says peter obi will not con um condemn the activities of ipop because he's he himself is ipop no i do not agree with this but says why is that tunumbu um tunumbu and i never create the presidential election okay now um, the fact that Peter Obi did not sense doesn't doesn't make you an IPOP. He has already come out earlier on during the campaign that he's not an IPOP member. The fact that he's evil does not make him an does not make him an IPOP member. Not every Igbo is an IPOP member. There's, a, there's some that said they don't want to go. Some say they want to go. So now him not commenting, I feel he should have said something because what happened is not something somebody needs to even, even talk about. But you'd have said something that ah all people do or tweeted about it. The people are actually angry. You understand? But the president also needs to say something. But that's when they say you should release Mazin and the coming. If they release him, all this thing will be sorted out. You see all this? They will, they will fish these people out. And this is that one will stop. I just pray the government do something in time so that things don't get out of hand. Alright, viewers, we have come to the end of today's news. Please do worry about the comment section. Let us know what your views are. Thank you for listening.